Good day everyone and to all our grade 9 learners. Today we are going to discuss transforming quadratic functions in standard form to vertex form. To transform quadratic functions into vertex form, we have to remember the following. Remember that the standard form of the quadratic function is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c while the vertex form of a quadratic function is given as y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. Now, let us do a recall. Remember that the standard form of a quadratic function is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Suppose I have here f of x equals 2x squared plus 3x minus 4. What do you think are the values of a, b, and c? The values of a is 2, b is 3, and c is negative 4. Next, y equals negative 2x squared minus 3x plus 4. a is equal to negative 2, b is negative 3, and c is equal to 4. Next, y equals x squared minus 3x minus 4. a is equal to 1, b is negative 3, and c is negative 4. Now, let us have the vertex form of a quadratic function, y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. If I have here y equals 2 times the quantity x minus 3 squared plus 5, what will be the values of a, h, and k? In this example, a is equal to 2, h is 3, and 5 is the value of k. Next, y equals 2 times the quantity x plus 3 squared minus 5. What do you think are the values of a, h, and k? a here is equal to 2. h now is negative 3 and k is negative 5. Notice that if this is x minus 3, the value of h is positive. But if this is x plus 3, the value of h is negative because negative of negative will give you positive. Next example, y equals quantity x plus 1 squared minus 5. The value of a h and k are a is 1, h is negative 1 because this is x plus 1, and k here is negative 5. Next, y equals the quantity x minus 1 squared plus 5. The value of a is 1, h is positive 1, and k is equal to 5. Again, notice that if this is minus sign, the value of h is positive. But if this is a plus sign, the value of h would be negative. There are two methods on how we can transform quadratic functions in standard form to vertex form. The first method is through completing the square. The second one is using the formula to find the vertex of the quadratic function. These are the steps in transforming quadratic functions in standard form to vertex form using completing the square. The first step is to group together the terms containing x. The second one is to factor out a. The third step is to complete the expression in the parentheses to make it a perfect square trinomial by adding the constant b over 2 squared and subtracting the same value from the constant term. And the last step is to simplify and express the perfect square trinomial as a square of a binomial. 
Now let us transform the standard form of the quadratic function y equals x squared minus 2x minus 8 into the vertex form using the first method, completing the square. Remember, the first step is group together the terms containing x. Thus, we are going to have y equals quantity x squared minus 2x minus 8. The second step is to factor out a, but in this example, the value of a is 1. Thus, we are still going to have y equals x squared minus 2x minus 8. Third step is to complete the expression in the parentheses to make it a perfect square trinomial. Thus, we have to add the constant negative 2 over 2 squared. This is again the middle term, negative 2. Divide it by 2, you will have negative 1. When you square it, the answer would give you 1. That means I will have x squared minus 2x plus 1. So saan galing ang 1 na ito? Dito po yan ng galing. Then, we have to subtract the same value from the constant term. That means, if you add 1 here, you need to subtract 1 also to the constant term. Thus, you will have y equals x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus 8 minus 1. The next step is to simplify and express the perfect square trinomial as the square of a binomial. Notice that this is now a perfect square trinomial. To express it, I will have y equals quantity x minus 1 squared minus 9. Saan galing si x minus 1? Notice that when you divide negative 2 by 2, the answer here is negative 1. Thus, this would be the square of the binomial. That means that y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 8 in standard form can be expressed as y equals the quantity x minus 1 squared minus 9 in vertex form. In this case, a is equal to 1, h is 1, and k is negative 9. Now, let us use the second method. In our previous example, the standard form is y equals x squared minus 2x minus 8. It was changed into the vertex form y equals the quantity x minus 1 squared minus 9, where a is 1 h is 1, and k is negative 9. So let us now use the formula to find h and k. To find h, we just need to substitute this to the formula h equals negative b over 2a. To find k, we have 4ac minus b squared all over 4a. Let us again use y equals x squared minus 2x minus 8. First, let us identify the values of a, b, and c. a is equal to 1, b is negative 2, and c is negative 8. Let us find now the value of h. Let us substitute to the formula negative b all over 2a. And that means negative of negative 2 all over 2 times 1. To simplify, negative of negative 2 is 2, 2 times 1 is 2. That means that the value of h is equal to 1, which is the same in our first method. Now, let us find the value of k. To find k, we need the formula 4ac minus b squared all over 4a. Let us substitute 4 times 1 times negative 8 minus negative 2 squared all over 4 times 1. 
4 times 1 times negative 8 is negative 32. Negative 2 squared is 4. So you will have negative 32 minus 4 all over 4 times 1, which is 4. Now, what is negative 32 minus 4? That is negative 36 over 4. That means the value of k is negative 9. And that is the same with our first method. That means to change it into vertex form, we just need to substitute to our formula y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. a is equal to 1, h is equal to 1, and k is negative 9. That means y is equal to the quantity x minus 1 squared minus 9. Let us have another example. y equals 4x squared plus 16x plus 6. Let us change this into the vertex form using the first method. Again, our first step is to group together the terms containing x. We are going to have y equals 4x squared plus 16x plus 6. The second step is to factor out a. But this time, the value of a is equal to 4. So when you factor that using common monomial, we are going to have y equals 4 times the quantity x squared plus 4x plus 6. Because 4x squared divided by 4 is x squared, 16x divided by 4 is 4x. The third step is to complete the expression in the parentheses to make it a perfect square trinomial. The middle term here is 4 divided by 2, that would give you 2. 2 squared, that would give you 4. That means we need to add 4 to make a perfect square trinomial. But we need also to subtract the same value from the constant term. But notice that we have here a value for a or of a. That means we cannot simply subtract 4 here, but we need to multiply 4 by 4. So 4 times 4 is 16. So we need to subtract negative or we need to subtract 16. But what if this is 2? If this is 2, 2 times 4 is 8. So we need to subtract 8 here. So we now have a perfect square trinomial. The last step is to simplify and express the perfect square trinomial as the square of a binomial. So again, this 2 here will be the binomial. 4 times the quantity x plus 2 squared minus 10. That means y equals 4x squared plus 16x plus 6 can now be expressed in vertex form as y equals 4 times the quantity x plus 2 squared minus 10. The value of a is 4, h is negative 2, and k is negative 10. Now let us solve it using the next or the second method. Again, in our previous example, the standard form y equals 4x squared plus 16x plus 6 was changed into y equals 4 times the quantity x plus 2 squared minus 10, where a is equal to 4, h is negative 2, and k is negative 10. Now let us use the formula to find h and k. Again, h is equal to negative b over 2a, k is equal to 4ac minus b squared all over 4a. In our quadratic equation or function in standard form, the values of a is 4, b is 16, and c is 6. To find h, let us substitute negative b over 2a, and that is now equal to negative 16 over 2 times 4. To simplify, 
this is negative 16 over 2 times 4, that is 8. But what is negative 16 over 8? The value of h now is negative 2, which is the same in our previous example or in the first method. Now let us find the value of k. k is equal to 4ac minus b squared all over 4a. To substitute, you'll have 4 times 4 times 6 minus 16 squared all over 4 times 4. Simplify. 4 times 4 times 6 is 96. 16 squared is 256. Now, 96 minus 256 over 16 is equal to negative 160 over 16. That means the value of k is negative 10. The same with our first method. That means the vertex form of y equals 4x squared plus 16x plus 6 is y equals 4 times the quantity x plus 2 squared minus 10. Notice that this is x plus 2 because the value of h is negative 2.